I used to be someone who was always rushing, always rushing to do a lot of things. Didn't know that it was called rushing while I was doing it, but I was rushing, okay? Um, I was constantly, constantly trying to get things done, even before and after bed, okay? I never felt like I had enough time to savor the beautiful moments in life. But then I discovered slow living. Okay, I realized that it's not about getting everything done quickly as I possibly can, but it's about savoring the moments and being present in in the here and in the now. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another moment with joy. I hope that this Thursday is a good one for you guys. I hope that you're feeling loved, you're feeling seen, you're feeling adored, heard, and all the things. I really, really, really want that for each of you, okay? And before we start this episode today, I want you to subscribe. And as you subscribe, so you can get this love every Thursday, I want you to share with two people so they can get this love too. Don't be stingy. Share, 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 share. Okay, because it's enough to go around. So today, before we get started, I want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys showing up every week to be right here with me where we can grow, evolve, and transform together. It means the world to me, for real, for real. So thank you. And today's episode is just like the rest of them, y'all. We are learning something important that will help us along our journey, okay? And... Today we're talking about slow living, okay, and the importance of it. Uh, And I just started my journey on slow living. Soft girl season wasn't really my thing. Well, it didn't resonate with my spirit. Um, I heard it. It was a trend and everybody was doing the thing. And I, it wasn't mine. But slow living, slightly similar. It's less aesthetic driven. Let me say that. Um, It's not a color. It's not a thing that you just wake up and be cute to do. No. Um, But slow living is what we're talking about today. Okay. We are in, we're going to discuss the importance of slowing down in our fast paced world and how it can benefit our mental and emotional and physical health. Okay. Um, I used to be someone who was always rushing, always rushing to do a lot of things. Didn't know that it was called rushing while I was doing it, but I was rushing, okay? Um, I was constantly, constantly trying to get things done, even before and after bed, okay? I never felt like I had enough time to savor the beautiful moments in life. But then I discovered slow living, okay? I realized that it's not about getting everything done quickly as I possibly can, but it's about savoring the moments and being present in in the here and in the now. What is it about savoring the moments and being present in the here and in the now? Okay, it's about slowing down and enjoying the little things in life. It's about taking time to connect to the people we love and cherish. Slow living has changed my life. And I'm no longer rushing around trying to get everything done. Instead, I have a schedule. And I'm taking time to savor the beautiful moments that that make life worth living, y'all. Okay? So I want y'all to do that, too. I want y'all to dive into this. And if you are tired of rushing through life, I encourage you to give slow living a try. You might be surprised (laughs) at how much more joyful and fulfilling your life can be when you take time to slow down and savor the moment. Okay, so before we dive into the five ways that you can start your slow living journey, let's understand what slow living really means. Slow living is a lifestyle that emphasizes a slower approach to everyday life. It's about taking time to savor the moments, y'all. Life's simple pleasures, those simple things like waking up, listening to your child laugh. You know, those things, being mindful of the present moment and being intentional about our time and our energy and being intentional with it. Okay. now let's discuss the five ways to start slow living. The first one is to unplug. 
We got to unplug, disconnect from technology and social media for a certain period of time each day. This will allow you to be present in the moment, to reduce stress and anxiety, and improve your overall well being. Your nervous system needs a break. It's at risk if you don't take this break. Your nervous system, y'all. And that's a whole nother class that I'm gonna teach about your nervous system. But right now, this unplugging will help your nervous system breathe. Get a break. Let me relax, okay? Your nervous system is at risk if you don't take it. We live in a hyperactive society, y'all. We wake up to it and we wake up and go. So give your nervous system a break and unplug. So the first way to start your slow living journey is to unplug, disconnect from social media, the news, all the things. We're going to throw it away, okay? And that was one of the things. Y'all started reading, so that's been my unplug thing. Instead of being on social media, I'm just going to, I started reading a book, and um, it's been a dope book. It's by Mignon Francois, am I said it right? Mignon Francois, Made from Scratch, Finding Success Without a Recipe. It's a dope book, y'all. I might even start us a little book club so we can all unplug together, okay? And we'll read through that book because it's, it, it's life-changing for real, okay? So we're going to unplug during this slow living. Pick up another habit that is beneficial for you and your nervous system, okay? So the second way, we're going to prioritize self-care. This isn't everything that I'm going to do because I'm a self-care coach, baby. You need to prioritize self-care in this slow living life. It's not a luxury to rest. It is a necessity. This is not something that you got to put on your schedule to rest. Rest is a necessity. It's not something you work toward. I worked hard so I could sleep. No, you sleep because you need to sleep. You rest because you need to rest. Okay? Self-care. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and prioritize it. Put it top of your list. Make time for yourself every single day. Every day. Every day. Every day, every day, every day. I'm going to keep saying every day. Whether it's through meditation, whether it's through journaling. Y'all already know. Whether that's through exercise or simply taking a relaxing bath. Self-care is essential for your mental and emotional health. Slow down, baby. Slow down your mind, slow down your body, and slow down your heart rate. Okay? And that's what that self-care moment is going to do. It's going to slow us down. It's going to let us relax. It's going to give us time, okay? The third thing, y'all, the third thing is simplify your life. We got to simplify things. We got to just take it down a notch, okay? We're going to start decluttering our space. Declutter your space, y'all. Let go of the things that don't, that no longer serve you. If it's no good, let it go. And I mean, what you mean, Joy? I wear the same clothes for a season. Just do it. Try it. I'm not, and hear me, I just started this, okay? I am the girl who needs something new all the time, right? And in slow living, when you pick it up, this is, you got to wear, wear the same clothes for a season. Try it, okay? I'm going to do it with you. So if you see me with the same thing on, well, y'all already have because I got this little green sweatsuit that I wear year round now because I, you know, and I don't care who sees it. It makes me feel comfy. It makes me feel at home and completely it like relaxes my spirit. It's like it's from Pretty Little Things too. And it's so comfy, y'all. And I know y'all saw me wear it a few times and everybody in my house see me wear it and they be like, you got that on again. Yep. So in slow living, Wear what makes you comfortable. Here on the couch, we focus on healing in every way, including our finances. Financial peace of mind is important to me, and that's why I bank with Chime. Chime is an award-winning app and a debit card with no hidden fees or monthly minimums, y'all, and y'all know we need that. It's the banking of the future since it's 100% mobile and online. Chime offers a ton of awesome features. Users get fee-free overdraft on up to $100 in debit purchases with Spotly. It's like overdraft protection, but way better. You can get your paycheck, benefits, stimulus check, and tax return up to two days earlier with direct deposit. Come on, y'all. 
They have automatic saving features where you can automatically save a percentage of your paycheck or you can round up your purchases made with your debit card and save that amount. There are no hidden fees or no monthly minimums. This is a steal. Y'all, start banking with Chime today. So, sign up for a Chime checking account today to link your paycheck. It only takes two minutes and it doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. That's Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. I was even on the phone with a friend of mine and he was just like, man, I don't be caring what I put on. Because you make so much money, you don't have to care. You can just get up and do what you need to do. Right? So slow living just means doing you how you want to do you. Wear them clothes, wash, and we and re-wear them. Okay? You really don't need much to survive, to be honest. I only, I'm only this way in the States, to be real. Because when I go out of town, I think one girl was like at the boutique, what you about to buy for your trip? Nothing, because I don't, I don't dress up when I go out on my trips. I really be comfortable. I'm at the beach. I, 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 don't, I don't even think I take makeup. Cause I'm swimming, I'm relaxing, I'm in the sun. Who wear makeup in the sun? Like your whole, I don't know, right? So slow living is slowing it down. We don't have to show up ready for the party all the time. Relax, y'all. Don't put that pressure on yourself to do a lot when it's not even really needed, okay? You really don't need much to survive. You just need your necessities, okay? And this is what slow living has taught me. Um, and this will create a more peaceful environment and allow you to focus more on what matters. And I'm only saying do this for a season. This ain't got to be your whole life. Just for a season, try it. Try just cleaning up. Try throwing some of them old clothes away that you ain't wearing and giving them away. That T-shirt that he wore when y'all was together, throw it away, child. That ring, throw it away. That picture, throw it away. Declutter your space. And understand that you don't need a lot of things to be happy. Okay? So we're going to clear that space up, right? Mm -hmm. So what is our fourth way? We're going to practice mindful eating in this slow living that we're starting. Slow, And when I say practice mindful eating, that's not, it ain't so much of your diet. Because this could go for a person eating a hamburger, what I'm about to say. So you, this not me saying, go eat right, go eat right, because y'all know that's my thing. But this is for the person who ain't eating right, too. I need y'all to slow down and savor your food. Uh-huh. I'm a foodie, and I've, I've never had an issue with this part, so I can help you on this one real good. I've never had a, I had a struggle with savoring food to even know the ingredients that were put in it. I could tell you the spices. Mm, that tastes like some nutmeg. That tastes like some cinnamon. That tastes like I could tell you whatever was made in that food. Cause I love food and I love to, and I love eating good food, right? So you have to slow down and savor your food, paying attention to the flavors and the textures, okay? And because I'm a foodie, I've learned that people really be out here just eating. Y'all really be eating and not even liking this stuff. Like you'll eat a whole plate and I'll be like, how was it? Mm, it was hot, it wasn't that good. What? So you, so when are you going to enjoy your food? Stop doing that, y'all. <laughs> y'all really be out here not knowing what's in this stuff. Even when I go to IHOP, y'all, you could taste whether them powder eggs are real eggs now. And if you do not know the difference, babies, find out. Stop eating IHOP's powder eggs. And guess what? Every time I go to one of them restaurants, do y'all have shell eggs? Do y'all have real eggs? And the people will say yes or no. Try it and see. Because y'all been eating fake eggs this whole time and didn't even know it just because it came to y'all plate scramble. Savor your food. Know what you're putting into your body. And this is slow living because fast paced, we just take whatever they bring to the table, eat it, and go to work. Not I. Know what you're eating, know the flavors, know the things you like. And I tell my son that, did you like that? Yes. What did you like about it? I don't know. It's just good. No. What is it about it that makes it good? And if you don't know, ask the chef, hey, what did you put in this? Because this might be my favorite dish. So when you get into that relationship, when you go into whatever you're going into, you know what you like. 
savor the moment. Be present, babies, okay? Savor it, savor it. You're blessed to eat. You're blessed to buy food. You're blessed to enjoy life in this way. When I say eating, because many cannot eat every day. Let's breathe that in. A lot of people can't wake up and say what you want to eat and be able to supply it. Every day of my life, I know, like, okay, I'll be getting up like, I can go eat, I can go eat. That's, that's a blessing in itself. So savor the moment as you're eating with your friends, your family, or even by yourself and go, God, thank you for this. Because it could be another way. That's mindful eating. Y'all, food is a luxury in a lot of homes. And if it's not a luxury in your home, be grateful. Thank God that you can actually wake up to eat. Okay, start savoring not only your food, but your blessings and dive into them. Okay, and slow living, slow living. And I'm embracing it in full this year. This year, that's all you're probably going to hear me talk about is slowing it down and just savoring the moments, diving into them for real. And this will not only improve your digestive system, but it will also promote healthy eating habits, mindful eating habits, <laughs> and better relationships with your food because food is a big part of our lives. So y'all, let's slow it down. Let's really look at the food and go, dang, I can pay for this. Small, simple things, that's, that's what slow living is about. Remembering the small things. I can breathe. Whew. So yes, I'm, I love slow living. What's another way to start your slow living journey? Cultivate gratitude. Take time each day to reflect on what you're grateful for every day every day every day just three things you can start your day with three things what are you grateful for today god thank you and this will shift your focus to the positive aspects of your life it'll reduce stress it'll increase happiness say thank you the words thank you thank you to yourself thank you to god and thank you to your tribe the people who hold you up say thank you Thank you so much. And it goes a long, long, long way. Thank you can, in, in normal, normally if a person, if you say thank you to a person that don't normally hear that and they're always giving, they'll go, what you saying thank you for? What I do? And you tell them, let people know that you appreciate them and that you, that you, that you love them. And that's a part of slow living. It's not just, can I get that? Yeah, girl, I'll pull up and your girl pull up, help you out. And then be like, all right, girl, next time. No, savor the moment, hold her hand. And say, no, you showed up for me. Thank you. Look at her eyes. You showed up for me. Thank you. And that could go for anybody that, that does anything. Dive into the thank you. Dive, go deeper in your, in your gut with that thing. It's different. And you'll see the change in your relationships, okay? Um, incorporating these five practices into your life can have a transformative impact. Slow living can help you cultivate a deeper sense of purpose, reduce stress and anxiety, <laughs> and improve your overall well-being. It can help you connect with yourself and the world around you in a more meaningful way. So I want y'all to really take note of what I was talking about today. And I hope you really dive into slow living. Start researching it. Start looking it up. Because I know soft girl seeds that kind of took the world by storm. But this slow living is, is oof, it is changing my life because I just started the journey myself. Um, slowing down, not taking everything so serious. Um, really looking at my life right now as a blessing. Because we could be doing things and not seeing the results of them right now. But the truth is, we're living the life that we prayed for years ago. And if we continue to move as though we're still asking God for things and we still got to work towards something, you're in the here and you're in the now. Tap in. Be grateful for the prayers that were answered today because this, what I'm doing right now, is an answered prayer. How dare I not say thank you? How dare I keep moving like I didn't ask for this? No. So be mindful. 
be mindful. That's all I can. And I'm breathing this in because it's hitting my heart in a way that I hope y'all are getting it. Um, because a lot of things I say, people be like, what? What you, what you talking about? I, in a deep way. Go deep with your thank you. Go deep with your mindfulness. So you can see all the beautiful things around you. And you can acknowledge them. Say in my chamal. That's a beautiful rose. <laughs> Look at that butterfly. Things, the, the small things that make you smile. We're going to start doing it, okay? So I thank y'all for tuning in to this podcast today. I really do. And I hope that slow living becomes a part of your journey. And remember, it's not about doing everything slow. Procrastinate. No, this is not about that. But rather, it's about being intentional and present in the moment. Start small, y'all, like everything else, and be patient and gentle with yourself as you're changing and transforming, okay? As you incorporate these practices into your life, take your time. And in time, y'all, you will begin to see the benefits of slow living and how it can positively impact your life. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope that you found some relief in this to know that you can switch and change up your life and do something different, okay? You could be more appreciative you can show up more for yourself and others and this way of slow living will allow you to slow down so you can really see what's in front of you what's really happening not that future stuff that we keep going toward okay so dive into it and remember as you go (laughs) that you are loved you are adored you are seen and you are heard by me I love y'all and if you need somebody to talk to about anything I'm here for you so please Listen to everything I said in this episode. Let it, and just meditate on it. Just meditate on it. Let it chew on it for a few days. Slow living, slow living, slow living. And I hope, if you have any questions, y'all already know, hit me up, okay? So till next time, be sweet, be love. Peace.